Hey folks, how you doing today? We're back with another shave video. And first of all, let me apologize for the light. There's sun coming through the window back there and it's got light streaking all over the place. It's just a mess until I remodel, so I apologize for that. But you know, that's what you get with me. I'm not a pro, just a regular guy, so you get what you get. What are we gonna shave with? The Icon Slant 102, Shadecraft 102, I believe it's called. And this is on an Icon Special Edition handle, which is stainless steel. Now, if you saw Paul Bom Bombino's uh, video yesterday, uh, he used it, and it seemed to go fairly well. I'm expecting this to be mild, because as you can see there, not much in the way of blade gap, and not much for blade exposure. So I'm, gonna expect, I'm expecting this to be a mild shave. It is a slant, uh, as I said before and of course this is a three-piece uh, razor the handle special edition for the brush we're going to use the rudy bay uh, this is called moon java and it has a mula uh, silver tip fiber a synthetic knot i just love synthetics um, and my two favorite are plisson and mula silver tip fiber those are by far my two favorite brushes um, or types of brush i should say so rudy bay excellent excellent job on these brushes and Last but not least, that's kind of reflective. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, the Barrister and Man Black Label, orange and cedar wood. I'm a fan of orange and citrus and lime and all those things. And uh, to me, this is a natural smelling um, orange. It's kind of like Mike's um, orange. I can't remember what other what else is in the Mike's orange, but sort of reminiscent uh, of that. It's it's a nice natural scent. So. I've had the puck uh, blooming, or soaking, if you want to call it that. And so, as we talked about before, I'm just, just going to use this bloom water to wet my brush. And we're just using that soapy goodness, just any little thing to aid us in our adventure. So now I'm just going to go ahead and load. Hope everyone is doing well. A couple of shout outs for newer folks on YouTube. Captain Marvel. Matthew Weaver, uh, enjoy what you're doing. Different type of videos. Khan gave him the name um, Captain Marvel, so we'll go with it. So, Captain Marvel, keep doing what you're doing. I'm enjoying your videos. Ray Pope, again, crazy stuff. You don't know what's going to happen with Ray. He's got the rub going, the, the silver chain, the firearm, the soaps. I love it. And JD, Jeremy Dutton, uh, again, newer guy to YouTube, but Really nice guy, comes off as uh, really, really genuine. He's from Alabama. I love Alabama, I love Mississippi. I love Louisiana for the past five or so years. I've been going there two or three times a year to vacation and visit my wife's family. And it's a second home to me. I just love the people of that region. They're so friendly. Um, and to me that just makes for a really um, wonderful vacation. I always say your compass should point north if you're going for business and always south for leisure. So that's what I always do. So let me stop babbling, wet my face, and get going with this Bear Stern man. Black label. All right. I don't expect to have any problems with this uh, soap. Will soap are always excellent in quality. You know for a fact you're going to get a quality product in terms of... Uh, Leatherability, protection, slickness, glide, all that stuff. That's never going to be a question with a Barrister Man soap. The only question is going to be is, do you like the scent or not? His scents are sometimes unusual. They're different. No one really makes scents like Barrister Man. Um, so you sort of have to pick it and go with it. But I can guarantee you, you're going to get a quality soap. The only question is going to be, is the scent for you. I have a slew of them and, and I really love them. One of my favorite soaps. So. Great job, Will. Notice Bust has gone dark and I notice uh, Khan has gotten busy. So I suspect, suspect, excuse me, they're up to something. We'll see. I'm former law enforcement, but it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. All right. Let's go with the Shavecraft 102 slant and see what it's all about. Warm the blade up a little bit here. Here we go. Okay, initial impressions. Just based on the first few uh, st 
strokes there, if you want to call it that. Mild as expected. Don't feel a lot of blade on my face. Um, I'm not hearing the really heavy feedback that's associated with the typical Icon Slant Razor, the first generation, which is really loud in terms of the audio feedback. Um, I hear some, but not a lot with this one. Okay, give me a quick rinse. Seems to be doing a good job though, as far as the, the initial few strokes are going anyway. Certainly doesn't feel threatening. Feels well, well balanced on this handle. I really prefer longer handles, I don't know. Just my preference, um, so I really like this SE handle. All right. Well, first pass went pretty well. Let me rinse my face and we'll get going again. The soap is uh, very nice, as I suspected. I like the scent. It's not in your face stout. It's just a nice natural orange. And uh, cedarwood, just what you'd expect from Barrister Man, natural, excellent protection, very slick, and you know, again, if I got a soap from Will that didn't meet those standards, I'd probably have to call him and say, man, what have you done, Will, because the guy just puts out quality product. And I could talk about that all day, but I won't. Lathers easily, as you can see. Really enjoying it. Good scent. Again, not in your face. All right. Let's go with pass two and see what the Shapecraft 102 does. You know, it just feels really uh, non-threatening would be the way I would describe it. I think it's doing a good job. in terms of whisker removal. I'll try to shut up every now and then so I can speed through some of the video when I, before I upload it. But for me, I only watch shaving videos to hear what um, people have to say. I don't watch shaving videos to actually see people shave. I'm watching them uh, to hear their thoughts, maybe to learn a little something about them, see how things are going in their life, you know, just, that's just what I get out of it. Now, if you're new, you may be watching to learn technique and for that kind of thing, I think you go to, uh, you know, Mantic 59, um, Geo Fat Boy, those guys have excellent technique videos. Rinse my face and go for past three. So I just like to hear um, how everybody's doing, what's going on in their life, you know, etc. Things have calmed down a little bit in the shaving world. I think that's good, you know. We can all judge people, but at the end of the day, as uh, the stallion Anthony Esposito says, uh, it's just shaving, and it is. You know, to many of us, it's more than that because of the relationships that we make and. It's a big part of our day and it's our hobby. Um, the other day I posted a picture of my shelf that my wife's allowed me to keep in the basement until we remodel and we construct a shave temple, which is what I'm calling it. Uh, and the reason I did that was just get people back enthusiastic about shaving, talk about shaving. I have a lot of stuff, but I've gotten rid of a lot more than I own. And, uh, it's just fun, you know, it's just part of the hobby. And believe it or not, as much stuff as I've been through, this is a cheaper hobby than some of my other ones, like firearms, for example. You know, I can shoot um, the equivalent of a tub of soap in a matter of minute or minutes. So a tub of soap will last me, you know, a year, longer. Well, with many of I as many as I have, a lot longer. Um, but you know, a box of fifty rounds of forty caliber or whatever, I can shoot in a matter of minutes. So this is really a cheap hobby compared to some, whether it be golf or you know, whatever. It doesn't have to be expensive 
if you don't want it to be. Everyone doesn't need to go and buy everything. Just buy what you're comfortable with and what you enjoy. And most importantly, what you can reasonably afford. And if you can afford to buy a lot and you want to, you know, I'm going to be there to enable you. But if you can't and you only want to use, you know, a few products, if you want to share your experience based on those few products, I think that's great. I love budget gear too. I love when things are cheap. And so, for me, that's good stuff. I say, you know, I've always said, enjoy your hobby the way you want to. Just don't be nasty. And that's sort of my personal standard for this hobby. But I do enjoy the new guys sharing their experience. Um, it's grown considerably over the last year, and I'm really enjoying that. So, right now, third pass is done. I'm going to stop the camera. I'll come back and give me my thoughts on the Shapecraft 102. And the rest right, of guys, so we're back. Of course, I got water all over my shirt and lather and everything else. That's normal. A little witch hosel. And, of course, we'll use a fine orange. Excellent, excellent stuff. Fine aftershaves. Uh, one of my favorites. I say that all the time, but it's true. It's just good stuff. I love the entire line. I own the entire line. Yeah, there's not a one of them I don't enjoy. Um, if I had to, if I had to pick one that was my least favorite, it'd probably be Snake Bite, just because you know it's menthol and not much fragrance. But that's just based on fragrance. The quality of the aftershave is uh, nice. Okay, let's talk about the equipment. Icon Shapecraft 102 Slant. Again, as you can see there, um, not much blade exposure, um, not much blade gap. So. Mild shaving experience, non-threatening, and I would say just based on one use, so take it with a grain of salt. If you enjoyed the Shapecraft 101, you will probably enjoy the uh, slant experience, the 102. Now, if you're looking for the same experience that the regular slant, the regular icon slant provided, it's not the same experience. Uh, this is a milder slant. Worked nicely for me, but again, it's only one shave, so I'm going to have to use it more before I really decide, but um, it did a great job. I think it's a keeper for me. Don't you know yet, but we'll see. Um, again, if you're looking for that icon, the uh, previous slant type experience, it's not the same. It is a more milder slant. It will probably appeal um, to the folks who use the Shapecraft 101, as I said before. Barrister and Man, black label, um, orange and cedarwood. This is not a candy orange type uh, scent. This is a natural orange and cedarwood scent. Excellent. Love it. Keeper for me. Great job, Will. Really no surprise. Um, the Rudy Vey is tremendous. Love it. Beautiful. Great work. He's a tremendous brush maker. And last but not least, fine orange. I love it. It's great stuff. Um, so there's our shave um, today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about the um, Icon Shapecraft 102 slant. Again, mild shaver. Uh, if you're looking for super aggression, super efficiency, you, this may not be for you. Uh, it's definitely worth a shot, though. Some people got this for $35 for the head, so it, it's worth a try. Uh, I have seen some for sale on BST, so it's not for everyone. But um, I believe it did a good job for me. So I'll continue to use it and, and uh, form my opinion over time. But initial impressions is, are, excuse me, poor. thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Again, guys looking for aggressiveness, you might be disappointed. So have a great day. Have a great shave. And what else? Go watch Captain Marvel and JD. That's what I say. Have a good one.